Today I'm going to do a follow along session, so I'm going to try and handstand push ups, chin ups, and sissy squats. Now, normal deal obviously just work to your level. So if you're more advanced than me, start ramping it up a bit quicker. If you're not at the level I am, stick with what I'm doing more as a warm up or whatever regressions you need to do. The handstand push up variations, I can show variations against the wall. Chin ups, you could obviously use some sort of assistance. So you could use band assist or toe assist if you need to. And if you're stronger, you could go to weighted variations or even one arm variations. I'm gonna see if I can get up to one arm eccentrics with the chins. So first of all, I'm just gonna warm up the handstand push up. So I've done a general warm up for my wrists and shoulders, and I'm just gonna work on stepping into a shoulder stand. So this is a great warm up for the handstand push up, or just a great regression if you're starting to work on the basics of the handstand push up. So we really wanna strengthen that bottom position, which is the shoulder stand, ideally to a deficit, and that's actually easier to hold. So I'm keeping the hands slightly externally rotated, which will make you stronger. And it also helps to bring the elbows and the arms into the side, so you can get that contact in here with the torso, which creates a better bottom stable position for the bottom of the handstand push-up. Then I'm gonna jump up on the rings and just do active passive. So work between a straight arm, scapular depression and elevation. Obviously those could be done on a bar or rings. I'm just trying to get the biggest range of motion I can, trying to keep the arms as straight as possible. Sissy squat, I'm gonna keep very basic. So all I'm gonna do is as I progress, as I get more warmed up, I'm just gonna to go to a deeper range. I'm just gonna try and keep the, the hip fully open and go with a very small break at the knee and come back again, just as the warm up. It's very common when people are doing, doing that one, especially if they haven't done it much before, is they'll tend to do this, they'll dip in the hips. So you gotta just try and keep the glutes and abs on, keep this as one segment and just break at the knee, find the balance and come back up. You can hold on to something if you need to. Okay, same again with the handstand push up. So stepping into that bottom shoulder stand position, but this time I'm just gonna slow it down a bit more. Back onto the rings, I'm gonna go into an arching scat pull now. So same thing, keeping the arms straight, but I'm gonna retract and depress the shoulder blades, which opens the chest up. With the sissy squats, exactly the same thing, but now I'm gonna use a target for my shin. So I'm just gonna use the Ikea box and I'm just gonna come down, touch, come back up again. Now I'm gonna ramp up the handstand push-ups. Because my handstand push-ups are quite strong, I'm gonna go straight into full deficit eccentrics. If you don't have that yet, you could do something like a pike push-up so you could keep in that position like we've done a second ago. Come down to a deficit. Shoulder stand for a second, push back out, and then go again. So we could do something like that. Or you could do the eccentric with your feet up against the wall. So I'll show both the foot up against the wall one now and the freestanding version. Ideally, these will be both done at a deficit, so you're coming all the way down to here and not stopping at the head. Now, whichever version of the handstand push-ups you're gonna do, I'm gonna stick to my roll of 30 seconds. So if your handstand at the top, your eccentric, and your hold at the bottom is roughly 10 seconds, you just do three repetitions. So just accumulate the 30 seconds as you need to. Same if you're doing the pike push-ups, you just do enough repetitions to equal the 30 seconds. For the chin-ups now, I'm just gonna do five chin-ups and just see how they feel. Try and get the chest to touch the ring at the top and go all the way down to a full hang at the bottom. Sissy squat, I'm gonna do exactly the same, just go a little bit deeper. I'm gonna use the block to go down to now, and I'm gonna change the distance I am away from the block to make it easier or harder. Obviously, the earlier your shin touches the block, the easier the movement. Now I'm gonna keep ramping the handstand push-ups quicker because I'm stronger at those compared to the chin-ups and the sissy squats. But again, just go with your variation and go as hard as you can. I'm gonna to aim to stick around the three to five repetitions on all of these. So full reps with the handstand push-ups, trying to get the collarbone to touch the box. We can do freestanding or against the wall. Chin up, I'm just gonna continue with the three to five reps. I'm just gonna add weight. So I'm just gonna start with five kilos.
with the sissy squat now, I'm going to see how deep I can go. So I'm not going to use a target. I'm see if I can get close to the floor with my knees. I am going to use a stick because I don't think I'll be able to get up from a knee touch to the floor. And the challenge is going to be keeping that hip open. So you could either continue the work out there and just stay on the variations you have and just build up sets. I'm personally going to have a little play and go a little bit more advanced. So I'm going to see if I can do a one arm eccentric on each side for the chins. I'm going to go to 90 degree handstand push-ups, but raise up, which make them slightly easier than on the floor for the handstand push-ups. And sissy squats, I'll try doing no sticks or maybe just one stick. That was a messy double. Ideally, my hip wouldn't open and close and I wouldn't spread the legs as I move up and down. The eccentric one arm chins were controlled enough so I wasn't falling, but I don't feel conditioned enough to do reps and sets of those. So I'm just gonna continue with the weighted ones. Same with the sissy squat, I'm out of condition on those, so we're gonna stick with the double sticks. So I'll finish the follow along there. Let me know down in the comments if you have any questions on this workout or any specifics in terms of how you break down these movements. I will stick a nicer 90 degree handstand push up at the end. I'm gonna force myself to get one now. Stick down in the comments if you have any ideas for some cool supersets for the body weight training. It's a little bit different than your bicep tricep type workouts. And we can come up with some great ideas on how to train push, pull, straight arm, bent arm and legs. Thumbs up and subscribe will be appreciated and I'll speak to you next time. Thanks guys.